welcome back to my channel and this video is sponsored by gocashback.com i have a link for you down below to sign up for this website so basically this website is a shopping website where if you click this before you start shopping you can earn cash back okay um there are some popular merchants on this site such as neiman marcus ulta jc Penney, macy's chewy if you have pets harvey nichols sephora Saks Fifth Avenue, Yeti, GNC, Allo Yoga, Fenty, Walmart, GameStop, HelloFresh, and so much more. I have a special registration bonus of $8 when you sign up using the code and link that I have in the description box. All you have to do is download code GoCashBack to your Google Chrome extension. And whenever you shop online, you will earn cash back, okay? There is a 100% offline cashback options with the Go Cashback app. I have already told you guys and you are seeing here some great stores that they have on their website. It is, if it is backwards, I apologize. I have called them off um, to you. There are also withdrawal options. You can get your money out via PayPal, via check, via gift card, or via HeliPay. So there are several ways to get the money that you earn on the website what i normally do is let mine build up to a certain amount and then i withdraw it they have higher cashback rates than uh for a lot of popular merchants um once again also there are monthly giveaways so they offer monthly giveaways to the users including skincare products and luxury products like alexander wayne handbags right now they are offering offline cashback to new users if you download the go cashback app 100% cash back for Starbucks, you guys, Whole Foods, and more, okay? Go cash back now. Go cash back every day. You can sign up now. I have the link down below. Of course, as soon as you sign up, you are automatically going to get $8 in your cash back account to get you started, okay? Do not sleep on this deal. If you look at the top of the website here, um, they have where you can click the stores and it will take you to a list of all the stores that they have, including traveling. If you travel, there is budget rental car. There is Ajada. There is Park Dean Resorts. If you do sports and outdoors, there are a lot of options to that, including Nike, Puma, and Saks Fifth Avenue. If you are a guy and you do tools and automotives, there are advanced auto parks, Vavor, and other ways to earn cash back. If you shop online, Walgreens, get your medicine or anything like that, you can go directly to the shop now on the screen, click the link, purchase your stuff, and you will start earning cash back. If you are into books, electronics, handbags, um, even entertainment, if you are the type of person that purchases tickets or anything online, you can go through these websites, GameStop is on here, entertainment.com. You can go through these websites and purchase your items and then get your cash back. So if you're going to shop online, why not get paid for it anyways? So once again, go cash back now, go cash back every day. I would appreciate it if you guys click the link and sign up. You never know when you're going to have to order something online and you might as well get a little bit of an incentive for it. Okay, guys, so yes, I woke up this morning and could not get my iPhone to turn on. Completely black, completely black screen. Pissed me off. So I had to run down here to the mall to Apple. So right now I'm just waiting and I am just coloring on one of their iPads. So I just decided to let you guys wait with me while I vent about Apple and my iPhone. Um, so there are a lot of people in here, as you can see. People rant and rave about Apple products and how good Apple is over Samsung. There's a reason there's an Apple store, guys. Now, yes, that is a perk. We have somewhere to go. We have somewhere to run to. It also proves that Apple ain't no better than Samsung or nobody else. 
problems on top of problems on top of problems okay just problems um so i woke up this morning i put my phone on the charger last night woke up this morning it's black i can't get it to turn on i can't get it to power on i can't get it to do anything it has to be fully charged it was on the charger all night like i don't know i don't get it so pissed off so i went to um google youtube tried a couple of things that it said it did say something about a hardware or a software crash or something like that um my phone excuse me is covered i am on the program through apple where i get a new phone every year um that program is kind of weird um t-mobile is my service for me talking and using the phone but for the actual phone it is through apple um so i actually pay apple um the bill every month uh for the phone so it is protected under that and then every year when a new phone comes out i can get the new phone um if i choose not to get the new phone and keep my phone then i go off of the new phone every year program and i can just pay my phone off and keep it this is my first time on this program i signed up for this program last september um, normally I just keep my phones for two or three years and then I jump, but I came off of the jump with T-Mobile because it was a ripoff with having my kids on the account and stuff. I explained that to y'all before. So I came off of the jump and came straight through Apple. Um, so now if my kids want to switch their phones through T-Mobile, they can, I am out of the way. Um, so I'm here at Apple waiting to be called on and let them look at my phone. All right, so he has called my name and he has my phone. And um, he's just saying that, yes, software issues, something happened when it tried to do the 16.5 update or whatever. And that's another thing. It's always a got doggone got darn update. Drives me crazy. But I guess it tried to do the update in the middle of the night because I had my phone set on automatic updates. I turned that off. I will update it when I want to update it. That way I don't have to have a panic attack when I wake up in the morning. Um, like my alarm didn't go off or anything. My phone was off y'all. So I turned that off. He's running a lot of diagnostic checks or whatever, doing the update and everything. Um, I'm explaining to him what is going on. You see a young lady there. She had her, um, tablet, iPad or whatever was not working. This guy came in. You're going to see him with a brand new computer that he just bought. And see, this is what I say. This is what I say. You know what I'm saying? It's not all it's cracked up to be. You're going to see him. This is a brand new big computer he bought. He had to drag this thing all the way back in here. I'm sitting there listening to him while they doing my phone because he cannot get it to work, cannot get it to accept, accept any of his information or nothing. Like, come on, Apple. Like, who wants to be bothered? I debate. I have an iPad. I have an iPhone. I was debating on getting me an Apple computer or laptop, but I think I'm going to go back to an HP which is what I've had before. I didn't have a lot of problems with the HP. Just when it went down, it was time for another one. That's it. Um, I don't want to have to drag my stuff back in here all the time, even though it is a perk. It's hands-on, hands-on service. I understand that. Look at him. He just bought this computer. He just bought this computer. Got to make an appointment, drag it all the way back down here because it's not working. Brand new computer, he said. Brand new. Got it home. It's not doing nothing. I'm just like, geez, Louise. Like, that would have me so upset, y'all. So upset. Um, So, needless to say, the guy did some kind of hard reset, reset thing with my phone. Got it to power on. He ran all kind of tests, cleared it out and everything. Um, told me how to clear out my iCloud and my pictures because I do not pay Apple any additional money to hold a cloud for me. Period. On period. I'm not giving them no additional money. If you add up how much you give them to buy additional storage every year for five years, you have paid Apple so much money to buy additional storage when you can just... There's other ways to save your photos and stuff. So I save my photos a different way. The stuff in my phone I save to a different little box, little hard drive, and I always have it. I also have a email address just for my photos. So I email myself a lot of photos that are in my phone, and then I delete them. So I don't need them on the cloud, and I don't need you to watch the cloud for me. The Lord is watching the clouds. Don't need you to watch the clouds. I don't need you to hold my stuff. I don't have extra money to give away to nobody, baby. I need my money for me. Um, so... We went through all of that. He was able to get my phone working. 
I really wanted him to switch my phone out because my uh, face recognition is not still not working, still not working to this day. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. So, and I've done the face recognition over all over again and it's still not working. So we're in June. Um, I'm just going to fight with it till September since I get a new phone and send them this phone back and get the 15, whatever they finna come out with. Um, I will just get that. I don't know with this program if I just send the phone in and I get a new phone or if I have to pay something, but I'm just going to get him this phone back. Um, because even though he said it's fine, it was just a crash or whatever, I still notice glitches in the phone. So, you know, if it goes out again, I'm going to make them go ahead and switch it out. Um, but if it doesn't go out again before then, then I'm just going to um, wait till September, send them this back. Because with this program, you have to send them the phone back and then they send you a phone and you send this phone back. So I'm just going to send them their phone back. Um, to me, I'll see if the program is worth it. To me, Apple does not change anything. They they make y'all think they change stuff, but they don't. Um, they might change a little bug, a little software. The Samsung camera is still better than Apple. And I asked him that when I was in there. I asked him, I had my Android with me, my Samsung. And I said, why is this camera taking better pictures than your cameras? But your phones cost more. Of course, everybody wants to talk about software and this and that and other. But no, your software just crashed. Your software just crashed. Like, pictures is the main thing for everybody anyways. And Samsung has better camera. He was like, it's their lens. It's their lens. It's their screen. He admitted it. You know, he admitted it that Samsung takes better pictures than Apple. Glad he admitted it because I already know that. Okay. But, um, like I said, I have both. And the only reason Apple became my main phone, I told y'all this before, is because when we was in Georgia, my whole family had Apple. And I wanted to be able to FaceTime them and see them. And at that point in time, you had to go like a back doorway if you had an Android. So I switched to Apple. Everybody switched to Apple. I've had it ever since. But I still have my Samsung. I will always feel like Samsung is better than Apple in so many ways. Storage, memory camera free apps um being able to download stuff being able to trick out the phone yes i know that opens you up to a lot of things but no there's no samsung store to go to if you have a problem but i still say it's samsung and then apple that's just me okay to each his own if you guys feel like apple is better more power to you um i have both and that's just how i feel so she had to call over somebody to help because I don't know if she was new or in training, but they could not figure out this guy's computer. These computers are not cheap, y'all. Have you ever priced an Apple computer? They are not cheap at all. Okay, at all. So now there's three of them trying to figure out this guy's computer. That boy was looking for somebody. But they're trying to figure out this guy's computer, why it's not working, why it's not responding. Could be like a car. He probably got a lemon. They probably need to switch it out. You know, sometimes just like the phones when they first come out, they say don't get them when they first come out because the first, what, 100 or something they used to say is bad or not good or rumors, rumors, rumors. There's always rumors. So needless to say, most of my day today was spent at the Apple store. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's run on over to Five Below. All right, guys, I'm going into Five Below. I want to grab some stuff to do some Mother's Day baskets for my mother um, and my sister's. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here and get the little buggy. Now I'm mad at five below because now you check yourself out. I try to avoid it as much as possible. I don't come here to work. This is not my job. I don't come here to work. I'm just showing y'all some of the beautiful mugs that they have and some of the keychains. I'm starting to get back into um, key keychains holders. I used to have like 30 to 40 keychains on my um, keys and it drives my husband bonkers. But... I like driving him bonkers. I could not leave this keychain that you see me playing with. I did get one. It was three, three or three fifty. It does light up. It was three or three fifty instead of five dollars. I wasn't gonna get it if it was five. Um, but it was three or three fifty. They have some of the cutest keychains. I didn't want to overdo it. I may come back. I get in moods. I may start to be a little keychain key charm girl. And plus, 
if you have to bust somebody upside the head and you have your keys, if you got a lot of stuff on your keys, you could just grab your keys, swing them, and bust them upside the head. So I'm always ready. I stay ready. Like, no, I'm not one of those girls that's trashy and going to be in the streets fighting, but you never know. You know what I'm saying? I'm checking out the Care Bears um, because I do collect them and I already have the ones that they have here. So I didn't grab any. I was just going through to make sure they did not have any more um, Care Bears that I needed, but they didn't. So, and none of my sisters are really into any of these characters, so I didn't grab any of these to go in their baskets but i always want to check it out my daughter's into stitch um i may do her a stitch basket um her birthday is new year's y'all know that um next year for her birthday or something like that find a bunch of stitch stuff and do her a basket but they didn't have anything so i also i like to walk through five below and just see what all they have you just never know sometimes they have newer stuff that you don't think you would find there um i did pick up some of this body care um stuff for their baskets this was a back neck pack it's heavy y'all this thing was heavy i could knock you out with that it was heavy i grabbed some of those for their baskets i thought that was really neat and i think you can warm them up or use them how they are so I did grab that and we're going to move forward. These are some foot patches, face patches, masks. Those are good for a basket. Grab some of those. I'm going to go back here to electronics because I am looking for a screen protector and a case for my phone. My screen protector is acting up and a lot of times when I push something on my um, screen, it's not pushing it. So. I wanted to get a screen protector in the case for my phone. So I'm going over here to the accessories. So I'll show y'all a couple few of the cases. They have bling cases, you guys. Don't sleep on five below now. Do not sleep on five below. And I'm looking for the ones that would fit my phone, which is the 14 Pro Max. So I'm just reading them to see which ones fit my phone. And I thought it was this one, but I had to Google it. This one was not for my phone. My phone is an inch bigger than, because they had 14 Pro and then 14 Pro Max. So I got kind of confused, but the Pro Max is like an inch bigger than the Pro. So it was not this one. All right, so moving on around to the other side, looking for my phone case. Um, you kind of have to look through them because they have them like all mixed in together. At this one, I don't know if some people moved some or didn't move some. So I'm going to go around to this side as soon as she gets out of my way because she ain't doing nothing. And these are the cases that are in my side. Look at these. They have an ice cream case. I'm showing y'all the ice cream case um they have the lays but it actually says yay's potato chips that is the one that i purchased um that one right there i did get that one i thought that was so cute here is another ice cream sandwich um i don't want to buy too many cases because like i just told you i like that drink when i may go back for that like i told y'all um i will be switching my phone out in a couple of months so i don't want to go crazy but i could have literally went crazy look at that y'all the fiery potato chips um they also had i'm going to show y'all in a minute i think it was like the swedish fish oh these cases are killing me and i know i can always sell them later um but i just didn't want to go crazy crazy but i was looking behind these and they look at the swedish fish y'all and it says sweet fish i guess for like marketing purposes they couldn't copy the name exactly but y'all get the gist of what they were trying to do I thought that was so freaking neat. I may go back and get one more. And then when I switch my phone out, maybe I'll just sell them as a set. Because they're, they're really neat. You know what I'm saying? Just to get 3 or $4 back on it. Um, So I thought that was really neat. They had a bling one. They had a bling one back there. I was like, okay, to the bling. Y'all know I'll be back. I'll be back. Maybe two more. Two more and I'm good. So I'm looking through them to see what all they have. Because they have different ones. Ice cream, swirly. And they're behind. They're behind each one. 
All right, so we're going to go on around to the other accessories, show y'all what they working with over here. I found some really, really neat, cute stuff for my car. So I grabbed some cute stuff for my car, some outlet stuff, some bling outlet stuff. They even have the bling um, purse holder hooks. Um, Y'all are going to see that. I bought that. They have lights for the car. They have the diamonds to hang from the rear view mirror. Y'all, I was about to go crazy. I bought the bling hooks for my purse. They have the stern wheel cover. Um, I had to, I had to contain myself. I had to contain myself. Um, I already have the lights for my tires. Um, they have the cup holder, the ketchup holder. The dazzle cup holder thing is right there. That's to hold your cup. It like goes in the AC vent and it holds your cup. That was super neat. And I'm like, I'm supposed to be in here getting Mother's Day stuff, but I'm in here getting stuff for my car. Look at the lashes for the lights ridiculous like five below is stepping up their game hopefully they don't they don't become seven below because actually they need to change their name because now they're 550 the purse hook and the case rung up at 550 so a lot of stuff in their store is now 550 so they really need to come from up under that five below i'm waiting for somebody to sue them for that because you know people will sue stores these are usb plugins this is a um what you call that eggplant that's a peeps y'all so cute twizzlers twizzlers port hub reese's pieces port hub they have a banana see i like cute stuff like this like stuff like this i will go broke on stuff like this even the airpod cases like hershey's this is the uh usb plug twizzlers i will go broke on cute stuff like this like i will buy all of this stuff just because it's cute you feel me Here's some other stuff, electronics for your laptops. So I'm going to go through and grab a couple of things to go in my family members' baskets. And, oh, that's cute. Yes. If you guys are starting your YouTube channel or need stuff for your YouTube channel, yes. They have the thing to hold your phone in the store, which I always forget I already bought. They have the stands and the microphone. If you want to do ASMR or be heard more, they have the stands and the microphone. So check it out, y'all. Those were the Apple Watch bands. If you're looking for an Apple Watch band or you're a person that likes to change your band up a lot and you don't want to spend a lot of money, they had that. So thank you guys for watching. We'll walk through the store a little bit more and then I will show you guys my Mother's Day outfit. Hey guys just wanted to show you what i wore to church on mother's day because my skirt is from sheen and i love it it fits perfectly if you're skeptical about ordering clothes from sheen or shein whatever they call it um i already had the yellow shirt but this skirt is from shein and this wig was 15 dollars at the hair store but i really just came to show y'all the skirt um i ordered it from sheen i didn't expect it to fit this good perfect fit i love it um i just wore this yellow I brought out the yellow in it because the yellow was very small in the stripes in the skirt. Um, you see the blue and red the most. But yes, honey, it is fitting and it is hyping up the little buttocks a little bit. 
and I just have on a pair of heels. So I wanted y'all to really see this skirt from Sheen, let y'all know that I am going to go on Sheen and order a couple more of them. It drops right below the knees and it is stretchy. So I'm going to show you that it is stretchy. It is not hindering me at all. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy and subscribe.